Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toroscope Beats channel in Malaysia. Today, I'm checking out the Diecast 164 scale Robocop 1986 Ford Taurus police car from Greenlight Hollywood. Now, this is a much awaited release for both fans of the Robocop movie and just Diecast toy fans in general. This was a release that I thought Hot Wheels was going to pick up for years now, at least in their pop culture retro entertainment line, but nope. Greenlight's got the license, so let's check out what they did with it. Now, I really do like the high quality feel of Greenlight's packaging. The card backs are encased in solid clamshell, and they really know how to make the visuals pop. Like, you know, if it's a movie pop culture tie-in product, they've got the full poster image right there in the backdrop, like Robocop here, just dominating the entire backdrop. Over at the bottom here, you get the vehicle encased in a nice protective plastic bubble it's very nicely displayed at the bottom there you get the words 1986 Ford Taurus LX the full vehicle name and uh, this product is rated 17 and above all right you know it's a die-cast toy car that anyone can pick up and play with but uh, but well you know the content itself Robocop is an you know an, a mature rated title and it's supposed to be a limited edition so yeah I mean maybe this thing is actually pretty rare we'll find out now, over on the back, it's like a full promotional ad word for the Robocop movie. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any visuals here of the toy car that you're buying, right? Just stills from the movie itself, uh, you know, the bad guys that blew Robocop away. Stills of the poor guy, you know, that got turned into the Toxic Avenger. Yeah, remember that guy? And also, uh, if you get a shot here of the ED-209 enforcement droid, Robocop's nemesis. Yeah, some great visuals here of the movie. Uh, but not really of the car itself and um, at the bottom here you get uh, some details here you know manufacturers information and you also see the Ford official license product stamp of approval and also the studio MGM productions okay so there's a lot of information here a lot of great visuals on the back of the card back now once you've gotten the toy vehicle out of the package the first thing you might feel like doing is checking to see if there's a tiny robocop figure inside there behind the wheel yeah but uh no okay there isn't <laughs> but sure would be great okay if they did include him okay let's give this thing the full 360 degree spin you know when i first looked at it i kind of thought that the vehicle looked like a little bit too jet black like it was just too dark and uh, I don't remember it being that way in the movie unless you know, my mind's playing tricks on me, I gotta watch it again. But I think that maybe in the movie, it seemed like it was a little bit more gray. Probably that was a result of all the city smog and pollution and grime, you know, that accumulated on the car as Robocop rode the mean streets of Detroit. Probably, okay? Yeah, we may see a variation down the road though. There is some very nice attention to movie detail here. On the car doors, we get the Omni Consumer Products logo and the words Detroit Police. On the back, there's the numbering 154, Robocop's vehicle number. The front of the vehicle has got some nice detailing like the headlights and I like that mean looking bumper attachment which comes in handy when ramming into the bad guys. The color tone plus the bumper attachment kind of reminds me of Barricade from the Transformers. On the roof of the vehicle, we've got a nice array of police lights, red and blue. Now the material that's used in the plastic here is translucent so they do reflect light. They could have just gone with flat plastic but the fact that they went with translucent plastic kind of gives it a little bit more style. What do you guys think? On the right side of the vehicle, you get the Omnicorp logo and the vehicle number again. Now these details are fantastic because from a distance, this could just be a generic looking police car. But the details help to remind you that this is Robocop's car, the future of law enforcement. The car's undercarriage is seriously dull looking, man. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really expecting much, but sometimes you do get a lot of detail work put into the underneath of the car where nobody's expected to look, even on something this tiny. But here, you mostly just get a lot of manufacturer's information and a couple of sculpted lines. That's about it. A Robocop's car also comes with rubber tires. None of that plastic crap. Now, these are very nice. Uh, the tires can actually be removed off the rims also, and they promise a very smooth rolling action. Let's check it out. Now, like I said, the vehicle operation is very smooth. Rubber tires are a treat, right? They're excellent to move the vehicle along. And you're gonna have a lot of fun if you actually use your diecast vehicles for play instead of just display. Now, the one key difference between Greenlight and a premium level Hot Wheels product is the price point. If this Robocop Cruiser was released under the Hot Wheels Retro Entertainment line, you'd be able to get it 
for half the price of what Greenlight is charging for it. Because I would say that the Hot Wheels Retro Entertainment line offers a similar level of detailing and also premium features like rubber tyres. It's just that they didn't have this license. Okay guys, so that's the video. Let me know what you thought of the 1986 Robocop 4 Taurus Police Cruiser from Greenlight Hollywood. For me, it's a recommend if you're a Robocop fan especially because I can't find another 164 scale diecast Robocop toy car in the market at this moment. Uh, but like I said, the price point on this is a little bit high. Well, you know, I'll leave it to you guys to decide. But let me know what you thought of the video and I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content. Take care out there.